It awakened the person that has always been in me, which always wants to learn more. It's like a, as a chance to discover who you are through education, through humanities, through reading, through writing, through poetry. Everyone in my class was hungry for something more, was hungry for education, and we just needed to know that there were people in academia who, who believed in us and could give us, give us the right skill set to be successful. Odyssey is a multi-generational program designed to serve families that are trying to break a cycle of poverty. Anyone who wants to learn should have the right to do so. I just didn't have an interest in school until I actually started focusing on what I was learning. And when you start learning certain things, it's, it's empowering. Once you start learning truths, you want to know more truth. You know, you want to become more intelligent. You want to become more powerful. Like, knowledge is power. I was homeless when I applied for Odyssey. I was homeless. Um, I had just gotten out of an abusive relationship, a, like seven year long abusive relationship. So I really didn't care about myself. I didn't like myself. I didn't love myself. It was like I just was just existing. And so when my friend, who let me sleep in his barbershop. He said, I want you to apply for this program. And I was like, for what? Like, I didn't see myself in like the requirements of the program. I didn't see myself as being worthy or capable. I was a repeat apply. I, I applied for the first year of Odyssey, did not get in. I, I think I had a chip on my shoulder because I was, I was afraid of being rejected or what that would be like, you know? So I kind of like, well, I, I don't need it anyway, you know? But I really did, but I didn't want to show. The reason I came to Madison was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with life. So, and I mean, that was a good decision because that's when a friend told me about the Odyssey Project. So glad you're able to be in class instead of in The Odyssey Project started because of her belief in the power of higher education to bring about a transformation. We believed everyone should have that right. Gene Fraka and I got this program started in 2003. We saw that the humanities could change lives, and I also knew from my own family experience that the best way to break a cycle of generational poverty was to give people access to higher education. Both my parents journeyed out of poverty through a free school for the poor. My father as a refugee, my mother as an Appalachian youth from the hills of Tennessee. Education changes lives. His dreams poem or another poem that you showed. It's one thing to create access, which I see the Odyssey Project as an access program because of who it's geared toward. But it's another thing to, when you're creating that access for people, for them to understand that they are capable of being successful, right? And so the Odyssey Project does that. And it, it really just removes every barrier that you could possibly think of. If they did not provide childcare, I would have been like, I can't do it. If they didn't provide dinner, I probably would have been like, I can't do it. If they didn't provide bus passes or gas carts, I probably would have been like, I can't do it, because how am I gonna get there? With Odyssey, we know we are working with adults at the poverty level who have families, complicated lives with jobs. We have to provide all the tools they need to succeed. The Ontario, you've got yours. It's grown so much from one course for adults with childcare to a child enrichment program, Odyssey Junior, and we now have Onward Odyssey, Odyssey Beyond Wars, Odyssey Senior, and we have Odyssey Beyond Bars bringing our humanities curriculum into Wisconsin prisons. The students there are really hungry for intellectual engagement. You know, the very first semester I taught at Oak Hill, I had one of my students come up to me and say, you know, I feel like you've given us all a bunch of appetizers, and they're great, and now we're hungry. What's next? It's hard to describe what prison is like, like your interaction with other prisoners. Like, you do not, like it's almost a law for you not to be vulnerable in prison. Like you cannot be vulnerable. You cannot cry. You cannot show any kind of weakness. None of that stuff. And in that class, everybody cried. Everybody told a story, and everybody became like brothers. 
if I look at the first 20 years of Odyssey, I'm amazed at how far we've come. But as I look at the next 20 years, I'd like to see more families in more places be able to break that cycle of generational poverty and to find those gifts that are inside themselves. You get to discover who you are through writing, through poetry, through the humanities. Um, and that's the, that's, to me, that's one of the most beautiful things is because humanities really is about all of the like intangible things, things that you can sometimes feel um, or, you know, that things that kind of start inside first, you know, and you get to discover who you are through that. I have a dream. A six credit humanities course can really change your whole life. A book can change your life. Literature, art, theater, music, okay. philosophy, okay. they change how you see everything. So all I needed really was those basic fundamentals and really just, most of all, just the confidence in who I am and the Odyssey Project, it did that for me. The program invested in me. And so I had to invest in myself. Now I have a, a future goal, you know, after Odyssey, I hope to get my degree in social work. You know, I want to get a master's. I never thought of, I never thought of a, an associate's degree, let alone a master's. So today I can say things like that, like I know that I'm going to get through this, like I know that I'm going to do well in class and I know that I'm going to get this degree.